What's going on guys? It's a beautiful day in Charlottesville compared to last week and the weather was like this. Super snowy and shitty anyway. It's beautiful today so I'm super excited to throw. And last shot put practice, I didn't actually record but I was feeling some really good things. So I'm gonna work on those today, share the tip that I was working on with you guys, and drop some bombs today. Stand throws, just trying to work, not pulling off the finish. Try to finish tall and get my hand to snap through the finish. It's going down today. All right, moving on to reverse stand throws. The stand throws, the harder I try, the more I want to just pull down to try to ah, sling it. So I'm going to try to slow down again. Try to keep my arm nice and tall, finish long. Just get that reverse, stick the finish. Pull down. Ah! Pulling down. Someday I'll figure it out how to keep it tall. All right, time for fulls, and the cue today is throw it like Tom Wolf. If you've seen what he threw this weekend, yeah, this weekend, like 22, 60 something, very early in the outdoor season. I mean, I figure he was peaking for like indoor world, so that's why he's still really fresh right now and throwing so far. Crazy nonetheless to throw that far this early. In the second rounds. He's uncorked a big Whoa. one. Oh. Really happy with that. 22.62 meters. 22.67 meters. It keeps on going up. Interesting to see what he does later in the season when he peaks again. But what I'm going to try to work on is out of the back. If you look at his leg, first of all, nice and long with his right leg. And then his left leg also has this weird orbit that gets him nice open. A nice solid block at the front, so that's what I'm going to try to work on. I was working on that the other day in practice, and it feels super good. Um, and I wasn't doing it anywhere close to how I want to do it still. But just trying to get that foot open. Um, nice, solid, powerful block. And finish nice and tall. So anyway, that's that's cute. That's what I'm going to think about. Let's get into it. Not in reverse. Marky! Nice, okay! Your star! <laughs> Love it! Oh, good. Alright, so i got to really think super long out of the back here and use like this leg coming around to kind of whip my left leg around or my right leg I'm gonna stick with that nice. I'm thinking so much about being long out of the back and getting that whip with my legs that I keep reversing. Um, feels good, it's going pretty far. I just want to try to at least hit a couple more non-reverse. Try to feel that finish. Uh, nice and tall and powerful rather than pulling off. It didn't reverse. Woo! I can't not burst. All right, I'm going to reverse now. And at the end of the practice, I'm gonna to try to go back to non-reverse. Just kind of work on some things. Um, let's get it. Oh, no. Gotta calm it down for a second. I'm getting too excited. It's feeling good. Um, you go back trying to stay long, get those legs around nice and open. Just finish it. Yeah. Alright, gonna try to keep working the same thing. Just try to keep my right arm longer out of the back, in the middle, and on the finish. Try to keep it long throughout the whole thing. With that foot open, I think she'll go. Same exact thing, long out of the back. Get that whip with my legs. On the finish, I just wanna work getting into the throw 
so when I reverse, yeah, let's go this way. So when I reverse, I go into the throw rather than turning all the way around and pulling off of it like I do on a lot of throws. So same thing, just really make sure I'm turning my left foot and getting into the throw. One of these throws, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna fix out of the back, like Martin was just showing, coming around and almost like pulling that left into the ground. Hopefully, that gets me more in the middle which means I won't be stomping on the toe board and destroying my foot. Uh -huh. oh. yeah. I like that feeling. Pulling that foot down helped to feel like my other leg snapped more. I just wasn't used to like, or it wasn't ready for the speed that it kind of gave me with my legs. Try to get used to that over the next couple throws. Hopefully I connect with one. I want to send one over 20 today, hopefully. Long out of the back. Pull that left down, and let's see if I can really get that right leg to whip around to a nice, powerful block in a good position. Ooh. Yeah, let's go. I keep finding that. Yeah. But it almost feels like it's like soft, like I'm not like yeah. Yeah. getting up on it, right? Yeah. Yeah. That one felt a bit better. Just need a bunch of reps to get used to it. But if I can find my weight shiftment, shiftment, weight shifting, weight movement, weight distribution some way to transfer my weight with a bit more on my right foot to get a powerful block on that and really get up through it. I think that'll help. Just need reps. Right, I got one more. I'm a little bit nervous to stomp on the toe board again because it kind of sucks when you do that. Um, so I'm just trying to be a bit more patient out of the back. Really get the legs going again. Let's see if I can do one more. Last one, best one. Let's hit it. So if you do that, you'll see him. You'll see him. So if you do this more aggressively, you open up quicker yeah. while still doing being here. Right? If you do this, like rather than that time, you gotta you gotta make sure you're not. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Do this. Whoop, and then. That's what he does, right? Yeah. He does the same like this. He goes. Yeah, yeah. Right? So it's not, it almost stops here. And then it almost stops here. It's so close. I can't wait for the next practice already. Hopefully, I can drop some bombs next time. Oh, that cue feels so good. Every single throw that I actually, like, kind of connected with just started launching. And, like, I wasn't really even getting after it. I just kind of had my feet in a decent position kind of snap the finish out of my hand a bit. So if I can get consistent with that, I think some very big throws will be coming. I just need to keep grinding it out at this point. Um, Martin was saying he was talking to Tom Walsh when he was in Zagreb and he was saying he throws six days a week of obviously just shot put because he throws just shot put. So I need to find a way to just probably get more reps. I don't know if I need to, I don't know what I need to do. I mean, throwing more than one event is where it gets difficult because I need to also focus on discus and really to throw discus as far as I can, I need to throw that six days a week and to throw a shot put as far as I need to, I need to throw that six days a week. So it's a balance of trying to find it. And maybe it means that I find a way to do you know, less throws in each event, but throw both of them every day or something like that. I don't know what it is, but I'm super excited. That cue felt so good, just working on whipping those legs around. I'm gonna watch some more Tom Walsh videos and obviously while I'm editing, editing this, I'm gonna, I will have thrown in a clip earlier. So I'll be watching it then and then just gonna continue to watch it and just find the rhythm, find what tempo I need and I guess modify it in a way that's gonna work for me. But I really like how much that felt like my legs were whipping around. If I can keep getting that block and keep getting after it, it's gonna go far. Anyway, without talking about the technique and thinking about it too much right now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, subscribe for more. I'll be back probably tomorrow with another video. I just gotta record uh, another practice and edit it. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.